In this tutorial, we are going to be looking into logical tests and if functions. We are going to start with the logical test because this is the base for if functions in the way they work. What I have here is a table where I track for each day of the week what time my employee arrives and what time he leaves. Then in column D I know how many hours he has worked and with the logical test and if functions we are going to find out if he has worked over time and how many hours he has worked. So let's start with the logical test. As always with any function we start with an equal sign, so we go equals. And what I want to know here, my employee has to be at the office 9 hours a day every day. That's because he works 8 hours and he has 1 hour break. So what I need to know is if the value in column D is bigger than 9. So I'm going to go ahead and say equals, I'm going to click on D2, and then I'm going to use the sign bigger than 9. I already know the answer is true. I'm going to go ahead and press return, and the spreadsheet has returned true. So I can drag this down. And I know that my employee has worked every single day extra hours with the exception of Saturday. In this case, our logical test is if the value is bigger than 9, but you, can do the, you could do this logical test for multiple different scenarios. You could use smaller than, smaller or equal, different. I have listed all the scenarios here for you, so greater than, greater than or equal, smaller than, smaller than or equal, equal to and not equal to. One thing to bear in mind is that when, are you, when you are using the greater than or equal to or smaller than or equals to, you have to use it in this order. So let me type this here. So if you are saying d2 is greater than or equal to 9, you have to use the operators in this order. This worked, but if I were to use the equals before, so see I have d2 equals or greater than 9, that's going to return an error. So the order is very important. Okay. I'm going to correct the formula, return, that's our logical test. Now let's go with an if function. Now let's say I want to do the same logical test, but I want to edit the answer. I want it to tell me over time if my employee has worked over time, or no over time if the employee has not worked over time. So what I can do is, again, equals, and we're going to start the if function. So as I type it, as always, the spreadsheet is going to suggest the function. I'm going to click on it. And here the spreadsheet is explaining to me how the function works. If you ever forget how it works, I recommend you do this because then it's very easy to remember. So the way this function works is I need my logical expression. Then I'm going to add a comma. I'm going to add the value if true, another comma and then the value is false. So what I want to know here is if the value in column D is bigger than 9. So again, I'm just going to cl click on D2, bigger than 9. This is my logical expression. Then I'm going to add a comma, and now I'm going to add my value if true. If true, I want the spreadsheet to tell me over time. Because this is text, I have to put it between inverted commas. So I added my first inverted comma, I write over time, and I close my inverted comma. Now I add a comma, and you see the way this part of the expression is highlighted in yellow because this is where I am. I am writing now my value if false. If false, I want the spreadsheet to tell me no over time. So again, I'm going to start with an inverted comma because it's text. No over time. I'm going to add a second inverted comma, and that's my if function. 
I press return and I know that my employee has worked overtime on Monday. It's basically doing the same thing that we did with the logical test in column E, but here I'm able to decide what I want written. So let me drag this formula down and again the same result. What I have shown you here is a very simple use of an if function. Where it gets more advanced is where we can add formulas inside of the if function. So let's open, let's delete, I'm just going to select everything. I'm just going to select everything and delete it. And let's start over again, but let's add a formula inside the if function. So equals if, I'm going to click on it again because I like the help. So my logical expression, which is again, d2 bigger than 9. So if my employee has worked more than 9 hours. Now what I want to know here is if my employee has worked overtime, how many hours of overtime has he worked? So if d2 is bigger than 9, my value if true is going to be d2 minus 9. And this is going to tell me how many hours of overtime my employee has worked. Now my value is false. If he has not worked overtime, then I simply want again no overtime. Press return. And the if function has told me that my employee has worked four hours of overtime on that day. Again, I'm going to drag my formula down. And I know how many hours of overtime my employee has worked each day, with the exception of Saturday, where he did not work overtime. Let me double click on the function and show you again what we did. So we started the formula equals if then the logical expression, so if the value on cell D2 is bigger than 9, comma, if true, I want you to take this value and take 9 out of it, so I want you to make 13 minus 9, then comma, value if false, if D2 is not bigger than 9, then I want you to tell me no over time. Very simple and very intuitive if you are following with the formula syntax.